because the average physician or a practitioner isn't going to do it. And they don't know how to do it and they don't get taught this in medical school. And I'm working on trying to change that in Washington, but it's, 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 uh, it's kind of a, it's kind of a travesty because it's, 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 it's like a staring us in the face that we have this epidemic of micronutrient deficiencies or insufficiencies and they're not being addressed and often worse, we're being told not to fix them. Yeah. So the vitamin D, magnesium, uh, omega-3 we talked about, right? Um, you know, believe it or not, a lot of people, I don't remember the exact percentage, but quite a bit of people are not getting enough vitamin C, something like 30 or 40, 40%, 40% or something like that. I'm not getting yeah. enough vitamin C. Yeah. I, and, I heard that 10% are deficient at the level that would cause scurvy in America. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Yeah. Just not eating any ve any vegetables or, or fruits because yeah. vitamin C is also in vegetables, not right. just in fruits. Right. Calcium is another one. Um, so, I mean, these are things that can be tested for and measured. Um, another one is vitamin E. People are are not getting enough vitamin E. Again, that's also found in things like Green, avocados, whole nuts, grains. whole grains. 